Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Parathas are something that we all love and enjoy and today I'm going to share another wonderful paratha recipe and we're going to make this with pumpkin. It's going to have those nice layers and it's going to be really soft and tasty. Let's get started and check it out. First I'm going to cook the pumpkin pieces. This is roughly about 500 grams. To a pot pour some water, add the pumpkin pieces and cook them completely till they are done. The pumpkin pieces are cooked beautifully, it's nice and soft. I'm just going to remove it from the pot and I'm just going to keep this aside. Just mash the pieces with a masher or with a fork. Just make sure there are no lumps. You can see how soft it is. Once you've mashed the pumpkin, keep this aside. For the dough, I've taken 4 cups of atta that is wheat flour. It's a 250 ml cup measurement. Next, I'm adding one cup. It's a 250 ml cup measurement of the cooked and mashed pumpkin. To this, I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of sugar. So gently start mixing everything. Gradually start pouring the water to mix the dough. First, I'm adding about half cup. So add water as required to get the right consistency for the dough. So you can see the dough is a bit sticky. This is how you want it to be. You don't want it to be too smooth at this point. All the excess moisture from the vegetable is going to be released. Just pour a little bit of oil, rub it all over. You don't want to knead it too much at this point. Let the dough rest for about 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes, you can see the dough has become nice and soft. So I'm just dusting with a little bit of flour just to smoothen the dough a little bit. Divide the dough into equal sized dough balls. If you feel the dough is a little sticky for you, you can always dust it with a little bit of flour. I'm just going to dust the dough ball with some flour. Gently roll it out. So we're going to make these nice layered parathas. Dab a little bit of oil. So at this point, you don't have to worry about the shape. For making the parathas, you need layers. So roll this in from one side and start folding it in. Dust it with a little more flour. So now start rolling out the parathas. You don't want to roll the parathas too thin because then you won't get those layers. So now you can see, I've rolled out the paratha. So make all the parathas in this manner and keep it aside. Next, heat a tawa. Once the tawa is nice and hot, gently place the rolled out parathas. Cook on one side for about 30 seconds first. Gently flip it to the other side. Gently press the paratha on all the sides. So it cooks evenly through. So once you've cooked, on both sides and you've got these nice brown spots. Just add a little bit of ghee. Once it's cooked, remove it and keep it aside. Wow, the pumpkin parathas have come out so well. I can't wait to taste them. Now I'm going to taste it with a little bit of curd, but you can enjoy it with any side dish or pickle, whatever you like. Mm. Look at those beautiful layers. And it's so soft. I really enjoy that soft layered pumpkin parathas. So instead of making the usual gobi paratha or the aloo parathas, do give this pumpkin paratha a try. Share it with your family and friends and let me know how it turned out for you guys. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications.
The second edition of the Home Cooking Book is now available on Amazon as well as on shop.homecookingshow.in.